let me ask you, Eric, do you like the videos that you're in? Do you go and you click on like? Oh, hell no. I never watch my own video. <laughs> hell no. Okay, so how do I subscribe? Do I go into the videos and I click? Wait a sec. Wait a sec. Are you telling me that I had you on every freaking time and you haven't subscribed to the channel yet? I don't even know how to. Okay, this is the light is green because it's the Hulk, it's the Hulk place. Only Hulk comes there. And then as you come down the gym, it says, you see that? Yep. Is a Serrano gym? Yep. And it says we're winners train. Okay. <laughs> and then I come down, come down, come down, come down. Then I turn my light on, and then there's a few things that are here and uh, most of the the, well most of the equipment have been given to me by patients um this is a this is a, a right here this is a bench that i developed i measured the distance between the scapulas of of um 30 people and i calculated how much the width so you can when you bench you go all the way down or when you're doing stuff it's completely round Okay, um, we teach classes here, and I had a class that we taught yesterday. Okay, um, usually it's packed. I tried, I charge 500 bucks, and still people come from all over the place. Okay, it's cheap. I do it cheap because there are students that this is a machine they don't make anymore that move back and forth, and it moves right and left. Okay, um, I have all that. I'm gonna come here. So people can see the gym. This is the best squat machine ever invented, but I need somebody to hold the camera to do it. Um, ta -da -ta 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 -ta. This is the second part of the gym back here. And here's mostly the squat racks and the, this is called a free, free flow bench or a free, free flow bar. It's completely okay. free, just from cables, okay? This and then squat, squat racks. Uh, this is the best squatting bar ever invented by a guy named Chris Dolphin. It's gonna affect your back, it's incredible how perfect it is. And today, I want to, I know that we have a lot of people that have a lot of questions, and I want to go through all those questions, but I want to discuss something that we do not discuss too often. And I, and I saw you and Scott's uh, interview. I want to talk about nutrition a little bit. Okay. And uh, I, want to, I want to talk about nutrition. You're going to be the first person that has a, a what I call, I'm going to show you. They ask me, they offer me money to write a book. I can never write a book because I suck at writing, number <laughs> one. Who is, that means I have to sit down, which is kind of impossible for me to sit down, right? And then... Um, what else? Um, I don't know how to write. I'm not an American speaker, so I have to like, you know, watch what I write. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to put the camera so you, you guys can see what I'm going to do. And you're going to think this is just so basic, but so true that you're going to say, oh my God, I, never, I can't believe I never thought about it. And the reason I want to talk about nutrition is because some people do not. And I'm going to see if I can do it let me see if I can do it this way. Okay, I'm going to draw something. And as I draw, I'm going to talk, okay? Okay. Okay. I'm going to draw, I call this triangle, triangle nutrition, okay? Triangle nutrition. You see it on top? Yeah. Okay. And any science, any diet out there is based on these three, three spots that I'm going to write. And the reason I'm going to put one on top, I'm going to show you to you why. First of all, I'm going to put... CR. I'm going to explain what that means. I'm going to put two columns and I'm going to make a triangle. Okay, you guys can see that. Mm -hmm. And one is, going to, one is going to be CR, one is going to be TR, and the other one is going to be MR. So each corner, CR, TR, and MR. And you're going to ask me what that means. And that means the first stop is caloric restriction, the other one is time restriction, and the other one is macronutrient restriction. So every single diet, every, I don't care which diet it is, is based on those three principles. 
So anybody can now, for the rest of their life, they say, in Danny Bosa, I saw what I need to do, okay? The caloric restriction and the ma macronutrient restriction is the, what is the most common use for females because females respond better to caloric re restriction. Now, calorie restriction and time restriction are also amazing. Now, you can combine, combine all of those, calorie restriction, time restriction, and macronutrient restriction, right? Mm -hmm. And when I do this, then I can do different things. I can use a calorie restriction with a time restriction, or I can do only time restriction and macronutrient restriction. So now every single viewer has the basis to combine any diet they want. Now, of course, I play with that time restriction. I play with that macronutrient restriction. Now, these diets, Danny, are based in 10 points, okay? As a physician, I need to watch out for your, what I would call health. So my first point when I'm going to deal with a patient is, and you can see it here, disease state. And let me say why. I'm going to go back to this. If I have a patient with diabetes, okay, I want to do macronutrient restriction by controlling their carbohydrate intake. Now, based on what I do, do I want to make that diabetic gain weight or lose weight? Then I might use calorie restriction because I want to then lose weight, but I also might combine it with time restriction. You see what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Yep. Easy. Now, I can have a person with maple syrup syndrome, and I know people out there don't, don't know what that is. That's when the urine tastes like maple. It's, it's kind of really, really sweet. And yes, I have taste urine for those viewers out there that are going to say, as Serrano tastes the urine. I went, when I was doing my uh, uh, small town rotation in Kansas, I was sent to a guy that didn't use dipsticks. I mean, didn't use no finger sticks. And he can put his finger on the urine and can tell you what the sugar levels were of the patient. He was crazy. He, he was, I couldn't believe it. I saw he was, far, I saw he was screwing with me because I said, there's no way you can do that. And the first day I got there, that guy checked seven urines, and he was off by two, only two. So it, it was 338, he would say 336. It was crazy how accurate it was. It was <laughs> impressive. So a person with maple syrup syndrome has to lower protein intake, okay? But then I can use calorie restriction or time restriction. Now, second goal, what's a patient's goal? Do they want to gain weight? Do they want to lose weight, okay? Genetics, they play, they play a part on it because you have mutations that don't allow you to clean or do something to your diet. I got to be aware of age. A baby is not the same as an adult. Got it? Economics, mm -hmm. you make the money for me to be able to tell you what to buy. Organic versus not organic. Supplements, they're costly. Next, females are a monster. You got to work hard with them. And you cannot be compassionate with a female. You cannot feel sorry for them. Now, you treat them delicate. For example, if you have a fat guy in the office, you can tell him, you're a fat ass. And they get mad at you. Oh, I'm going to lose weight because you call me I'm a fat ass. But a lady, you tell her she's a fat ass, she never come back. So you tell them, you're a little heavy. You're a little plump. We need to lose weight. The next one is location. And why location? Well, Danny, you're in freaking... Canada with 20 pounds of snow right there. What can you grow out there? Nothing, right? There's nothing to eat on the ground, but people go eat fruits, people go eat vegetables. No, winter is a time that you shouldn't be eating any starches because they're not outside, okay? Unless what you eat in animals. The next one is environment. And here, environment, I put toxic environment. And I'm gonna, and that's gonna include a little bit of social, and I'm gonna explain what that is. If I have a female that comes to the work and she has a great time, but goes to home to a toxic environment, like a husband that doesn't pay attention to her, or a husband making her life miserable, this is what happens. Okay, that, is, that will make you gain or lose weight. Now, the next one is religion. Why religion? Because if you, do, you tell a Jewish person to eat pig or, 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 you know, pork, they won't. Or an Indian person, they won't do it. And the next one is social. And that social is a little bit different because there I'm talking about what kind of job do you have? Do you have a job that you have to work outside? Do you have a job that you have to like, you know, be doing stuff that you don't want to do? Are you involved in a relationship? Are you flying back and forth? So I got to I gotta do that. Then also, I'm going to add one more thing here. Okay. I'm 
And when I talk about stresses, I have three levels of stress. You see that? Mm -hmm. Total yep. and toxic, okay? The good one is, is your children. They're good, but it's a little stress, you know? Toxic, your wife. She can be toxic, you know? <laughs> no, no, I'm making that up. I'm just kidding. <laughs> horrible. I mean, horrible. Okay? And then toxic is the one, okay, like being abused or stuff like that. And those are my three levels. Now, when I'm looking at a patient, I'm, I'm going to have one more thing. I'm going to keep talking. I'm going to erase this. I hope that the viewers like what they're seeing right now. Let me erase this. I'm going to talk about, hold on a second. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take, I'm going to talk about my pie of life. About what? My pie of life. Let me draw, let me draw it and you understand. Okay. So, okay. Oh, the pie of life. Yes. This is my Got pie. It. Okay. So my pie of life is, and I'm going to draw it here. My two, my, my biggest pile of life are God, family, health, and economics. And people are going to ask me, what, what does that mean? Well, faith is really important. Faith has shown to help you survive. Faith in God has shown to do better. Now, my pile of my family gets smaller because I, I have friends that are like, like family members. You know, I treat them like family. Now, my economic one, that pie is divided on two because that pie has to get smaller because have a job and an education the better your education the better your job got it mm -hmm. now on health i got i gotta divide that pie also in half and this is nutrition and exercise so the biggest two components of my pie are my god and my family because without those i have nothing now of course you incorporate this and you're gonna ask me what does that matter so in my practice i have a few billionaires and i can say i have Four or five, which is very rare. And when these people come to see me, their pie look like this. They're miserable because they concentrate. This is what is left of God, faith, family. Okay? Economics is their, is their center of life, which is absolutely off, and they will have issues. And, and I wanted to discuss that with the viewers. Of, of course, I can go into a lot of more details, and I hope that they enjoy this, but I know you have questions that we didn't answer last week, so let's go for those. Cool. You want to, okay. This is great. See everybody, we get to see the bottom half of Eric's face today. No, usually, no, no. I, usually I, we I, just see this. I'm gonna put it somewhere. So today, now we're seeing this pack here, which is new. It's all new. Right on the TRT and hormone optimization YouTube channel. <laughs> well, I mean, remember this, guys. That <laughs> nutrition health changes your hormone levels. Even faith, even red light, all these things makes a huge difference. So let me see what's the best spot for us to do this. Okay, I'm going to go. I know that Danny always tells me, oh, I cannot see all your body. So I'm going to try to do it. This I don't way. need to see all your body, dude. I, from the neck down, I have no interest, man. <laughs> Let's say the waist down. Waist up, okay. we're okay. Waist down, uh, it's not going to happen. Okay. Hold on a sec. <laughs> then the lights on here. Okay. Now we can. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. What questions do you have for me, Danny? Okay. So I had, I had a few left. Go ahead. Okay. This one here, you can choose to answer or not. Okay. Benoit I'm, Levesque. I'm going to answer asking, what you want. Go ahead. Huh? Whatever okay. you want, I'm going to answer. Okay. He says, perhaps, perhaps you could ask Eric about the possible benefits, if any, of microdosing synthetic anabolics like Mastro, Nandrolone, and Primo along with regular TRT dosage. Okay. Do you think, I know you don't do this in your practice, but is, do you theoretically know of Hypothetically, so that, I know, this is purely hypothetical. This is so for entertainment purposes only. Hypothetically, okay. Yeah. I do see patients that do it on their own, right? Now, scenes that I have seen, I want to go to the first, the bad things that I have seen, okay? Because 
Some of them might be great. Some of them might be good. Some of them might be okay. On a man, I'm talking about a man right now, okay? I'm not talking about females. Tremble on, okay, micro dosing. I have seen great results when it's come to a physique, meaning getting harder, getting stronger, increasing sex drive, increasing even aggressiveness. Okay, now, when you come off the trembolone, I've seen severe depression. Severe, I mean, to the point of suicidal thoughts. Now, we're talking now, microdosing of trend I, or? Yeah, even microdosing. I'm talking okay. about, my, okay, let me define microdosing because yes. for those viewers out there, uh, 50. <laughs> 50 milligrams of Trembolon is microdosing. Yes. Okay? Weekly. So, yes, weekly. That's, okay. that's microdosing, true or false? Yep. Or let, let's do it 25 twice a week, right? Okay. Yeah. And Monday and Friday. That's microdosing. For those viewers that do not know dosages, Trembolon average dose is 300 to 600 milligrams per week. Okay? And, and that is a normal person. If it's a, a competitor, Olympics, that's another ball of wax. It's way higher than that. I don't want to give numbers because I can see some viewers. I'm going to try that. Now, some people combine that with Masteron, okay? And when you combine Tremblon with Masteron, the side effects are less pronounced, less depression coming off, there's less things happening. Now, in the bodybuilding world, they say that Masteron is a progesterone kind of like drug. I don't think that is true. Everybody is different, and I cannot like that in some people. You might not like that in other people. Now, the good thing about mastering, it keeps you dry, and it keeps you thick with the Trembolon. Now, micro-dosing it, <laughs> and I'm going to say I I'm going to say I went out dosages, uh, Danny, because I don't want the viewers to think, oh, I'm going to do this. Mm -hmm. So small dosages, and this may maybe twice a week injections or whatever you're doing, with Trembolone, those, those makes a difference. So what, for those viewers that are asking me, do I see a difference adding TRT with what microdosing of anabolic steroids? I have seen amazing results done correctly. Now, I'm going to talk about blood tests, okay, because we need to worry about blood tests when you're doing this. I do see a reduction on LDL, I mean a, a reduction on HDL, and mm -hmm. one of the viewers corrected me on the answers, he was right. I was wrong. So, and I can't remember who it was. He was right. Uh, I see a change on triglycerides. They do come down. I see some elevation on the thyroid when you use uh, these medications, okay? Uh, I see an elevation on liver enzymes, and not as much as people think. In the old days, many years ago, actually normal bodies were considered between 40 and 120, AST and ALT. Now that has changed. They use zero to 40. And, and I apologize to the Canadian viewers because I do not know what the, what the viewers, but the levels are in Canada, Danny. So you might yeah. want to correct, you don't want, you might want to correct me there. Uh, but it's zero to 40 in America. And, uh, and when you use those anabolic steroids, there's an elevation on those levels. Okay. Where do I worry about it? So if I use the viewer zero to 40, okay, and you come out with 60s and 70s, I'm not gonna worry about it. I know, of course, if you're doing street drugs, I'm gonna worry about it, but if you're taking Tylenol, I'm gonna worry about it. So be aware of that. If you're taking microdosing, be aware that you do not wanna take paracetamol or Tylenol or acetaminophen at all when you're taking steroids. You gotta be aware of that. The kidneys are really, really affected, except, except when they do oral dosages. And I'm talking about, I don't want to give names, but certain anabolic steroids orally increases blood pressure and you see a difference on the kidneys. Now, if you're taking creatine and you're taking anabolic steroids, which a lot of people will do that to gain size, and you're taking an aspirin or ibuprofen, be aware that your creatinine levels will go up higher than they should go normal. And for those viewers out there, creatinine levels that are used to measure glomerular filtration rate, or they tell you, oh, your creatinine levels are bad. When you are more muscular, when you are heavier, and you carry more muscle, your creatinine levels will always be high, higher than a normal person. 
So the glomerular filtration rate is based only in normal, non-muscular, non-active, lazy people, okay? We don't see good people coming into the office of doctors so they cannot look the creatinine levels like that. Should we establish a new level for creatinine levels? Yes, for muscular patients. Now, in my practice, I use something called C-cystatin. People have no idea what that is. Danny, you don't know what that is, but I can send you many, many papers. Okay, let's suppose you come and see me and you're 20 and say, hey, I'm going to use this or that. I get a baseline C-cystatin. C-cystatin can predict kidney disease four to five years prior to the kidney disease. That's how cool this is. How come we don't test? Because, okay, if you get C-cystatin, you don't know what to do with it. You cannot give an IV fluids and lower immediately. Creatinine, I give you dialysis or you go in down, you're better. Creatinine is a good marker, but be aware that it's not as great as it is in a muscular person. So I hope that answers the question of the micro dosing for those people out there. Mm -hmm. You also okay. mentioned uh, nandrolone, Primo. Okay, those are basically, okay, nandrolone average dose is between 300 and 600. Average mm -hmm. dose, okay. Micro dosing for nandrolone for me will be 50 twice a week or 100 milligrams total a week that we micro dosing. Primo is an amazing, amazing anabolic steroid uh, with very great, with great benefits, especially micro dosing with TRT. You can see a huge difference on uh, lean body mass. Actually, the LDL, LDL and HDL levels do not get affected as bad, by the way. Now, something that I forgot and I should have brought up, CRP markers are affected by some anabolic steroids. I don't know want to go into it because I don't want to tell people that because then they change their lifestyle just to go get blood tests. But they will do that. So be aware of that. Now, if the viewers are asking me if adding uh, anabolic steroids in a small dosage to DRT will make a difference, yes, it does. Okay. And the extent of the risks will depend on many, many, many factors. It depends dose, route, Okay, and type. And also depends where you're getting them from. Okay. Guys, you probably saw the video I did about, uh, that I did a little experiment with DECA because I always had back pain and I threw in 100 milligrams a week of DECA with my TRT just to see what effect it was going to have. It was just like, it wasn't anything I was going to do long term, but literally within a week, my back pain was gone. And I mean, it was gone. And then I dropped it down to 50 milligrams a week and said, let's see if it stays gone. And it did stay gone, even with 50 in my case was enough, but I thought to myself, well, 50 is not too much and I could probably do this for a while and I think it'll be fine. After a while, I started to feel off. I really well, honestly I, started to feel off and I ended up stopping. So I don't- I predicted, I predicted that, remember I told you, you that. Yeah. So, so um, that is normal. Nando Deca, let's call it Deca so people know what we're talking about. It is a great drug, but can never be ever used by itself. So do not believe what people tell you, oh, I know there's some bodybuilding side that I tell you, just use it by itself. Never, ever do that. I am, I have thousands of patients, thousands. I'm not making this up. Never use Nandrolone or Deca by itself. And I'm doing an interview towards the end of the month with Tyenne Clark, who basically created the, uh, uh, you know, the 600 milligram a week of, of uh, Deca, Deca only cycles. I'm going to be yes. interviewing him uh, end of this month. I see. You know what? Because you sent me his website, he does a short term. He does a short six term. weeks. Six weeks. I still, yeah. he doesn't know this. Do you know how long Deca can stay on your body? Uh, I think I looked into this once and it was it was long. Yes, he can. He, he can so get like, twenty four months post the dose. That, I was I was just about to say two years. I had that in my head that I read that somewhere, but I wasn't sure. Two years. So you can stay with those levels. So six hundred millions of Deca for six weeks, then you stop for four weeks, six weeks, and then do it again. You can have it later. And, and you know, they have, I was in a court case in which uh, some person tested positive for DECA, a woman actually, and she was in birth control pills and I was able to help her because DECA is actually a compound that is found in you, in you. okay? So be aware of that. Now, What's your, pr your primary reason why guys should not do it? And again, but, this guys, this is entertainment purpose. This is just for information. We're just shooting the shit here, okay. right? By, Why would a guy not do a deca only cycle? Number one, in your itself, opinion, 
eventually long-term causes depression because it affects the anabolic and androgenic. And I know people are going to tell me, oh my God, this is, doesn't affect androgenic receptors. It does negatively, okay? That's why when you take DECA only for a long time, your wee wee doesn't work, okay? Let's put it that way. And you, can, you get impotent. So I call it the, the pretty boy syndrome. You look pretty in the beach, you can't perform, you know? And that depends on the person, that depends on the client, whoever it is. But I'll say this, that person will eventually have side effects because, ana, because DECA is a very andro, anabolic drug, not an androgenic drug. And if you're taking it by itself, eventually the amount of the dose will affect those receptors and there will be some side effects, including your LDL, HDL ratio, that's gonna change, including actually your sex drive. In some people I've seen it drop. When you take it by yourself, I've seen depression also because there's no androgenic properties to it. So be aware of that. Cool. So Benoit Levesque, j'espère qu'on a bien répondu à ton question. <laughs> he's in our I Facebook know. group and uh, on the YouTube channel and he's from Quebec, he's from here, so. I heard what you said, I can't understand a little, so. Okay. Um, next question. Can you ask him if elevated HGB and HCT can increase snoring? I've been snoring like a pig and those levels may be elevated. We'll be getting labs in a week or two. Also ask if elevated E2 can cause snoring. Thanks. Okay. This is a great question. So let me tell the viewers what he meant. Can elevated hemoglobin or elevated hematocrit can cause snoring? Okay. This is association no causation. Let me use the word association. If I have if I have heavy users of steroids in my office, they will tend to snore. Is it the hemoglobin hematrophy? No, I don't think so. I think it's like like cholesterol causes heart disease because it's there. So, like for example, a fire, a fire in a house, and I see a fire truck, the fire truck caused the fire. Okay, so there's an association. Not a causation. I don't think it's the high levels of hemoglobin. It can be neck size. It can be weight. It can be food allergies. I have to look at other things that is going on before I do that. Now, I will say this. On those viewers that are using multiple or micro dosing or whatever, I have seen snoring coming faster. Now, when you tend to eat, use anabolic steroids, you tend to eat crappy. The biggest reason that I see for snoring in my office and people are going to say, no way, is actually dairy or weight shakes or casein. If you eliminate or eliminate it, a lot of people will stop snoring because they had a food allergy. Now, there's other allergies, of course. I'm just, I'm just giving you one hint. Now, no, hemoglobin and hematocrit is not, a, it's not the cause of it. It can be associated, but it's not the cause. Now, is estrogen a cause? No. I had never seen that. Even, it's kind of funny, you guys think about it. How often do your girlfriend snores? Okay. And is, you see a woman that snores, of course, but you rarely will see a woman that snores. Of course, we might be sleeping because we have sex and we go to sleep and the woman stays off. <laughs> but uh, no, I don't think that the hemoglobin, hematocrit, or estrogen are associated unless the abuse of the anabolic steroids is very high. We make your thick neck. Your, it's a muscle. Okay. So it might make it hard to breathe. But usually, 80%, 70 to 80% of the snoring I can fix on my office with uh, fixing allergies. Now, if you're obese, you got to lose weight. In my case, uh, I, it's funny because I do all kinds of experiments with my protocol. Sometimes I'll take more and I'll take less and I'll try daily or I'll try weekly and I'm all over the place. My wife will wake up the next morning. She said, you snored last night. You increased your dose of testosterone, didn't you, for an experiment? Yes. She was, I know. She says, I can tell when you increase your dose because you, you start snoring. And when I bring my dose back to my regular dose, my, I don't snore as, as much. It's funny that you said that. DECA is really associated with snoring. And you, I know the viewers are going to say, no, no, no. I am telling you, I can ask wife, is he, is he taking DECA? And they tell me, yes, he's snoring again. That's hmm. because he makes everything grow. He might make cartilage grow. You know, so it's just funny that you say that. But it's true. Cool. Uh, next question. Any supplements you recommend like magnesium or potassium or K or D or krill oil and the preferred brands that you, you have? Okay. You know, in my practice, I have 
for, for a lot of people that do not know this, I make my own supplements. I had never sat here and sell, and sell them because I wanted people to understand that I would try to give you the best whenever I can. If there's something better on the market than mine, I'll tell you, I have no problems. Uh, and I'll give you some samples in a second. Now, for me, important supplements are fats, specifically fish oils. Vitamin C is super, super important. The two best vitamin C that I've seen, and I'm not making this up, one is by Beverly International, and I don't know if you can buy that in Canada. They have something called Ultra C. It is massive pill. It has vitamin A for a reason, and I can explain that later. Okay, it's a slowly release, and each, and each I think is two grams or one gram. I forgot what it is. The other one is made by a company called Polyquin Group. They have a vitamin C that is amazing. It has a compound called hydrotrosol, and I know you guys don't know what that is. It comes from olive, and it helps you even sometimes in the research has shown to maybe even help you make your own vitamin C, which is very rare. Okay, uh, they really have a slow release formula. Uh, it is not, it is not a fiber. It is a really slow release formula. Um, I helped them create that, by the way. I cannot remember the phone number, but I'll go get the phone number in a second. Uh, for Ultra C, is 1-800-781-3475. That's the number. Uh, for the other one, if your viewers wait a second, I'll go get it. Uh, hold on a second. I might have it here on my phone. Hold on a second. Um, Eric, try something when you get a chance. Shift your, your chair over so you don't have those lights right behind okay. you because it makes you look like an angel and you're misleading. Oh, yeah? Your wait a second. I'm an angel. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let me do this here. Because you had these big lights popping out on the sides of your face. Is this better? Much better. Already better. Okay. Um, look how pretty he is. You see his whole, look thank his whole you, face thank you. right there. Look at that. 33, 33 years old, man. 33 years um, old. Um, the other one is the fish oils. I tested 17 fish oils, 17, in 1999 to 2000. Out of 17 different brands, I went to, 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 to pharmacies. I went to big warehouses, and I bought them. Didn't tell anybody what I was doing. I analyzed it. Out of 17, only one, only one, had what it says on it, and it was not oxidized. Every single fish oil was oxidized. It was bad. One. Two. Two years ago, uh, one of the drug companies analyzed 32 fish oils. They want to sell because they wanted to sell their own fish oil, right? And they went and analyzed 32 fish oils. Out of the 32, only two were good, not oxidized. So be aware that when you buy fish oils, cannot be in a freaking. I'll give you the rules in a second because I want to know. Okay. Now, when you use fish oils, you do not want to use fish oil by itself. And you're going to go, what? In life, nothing is isolated. Fish oil is with other fats. The fish do not make fish oil. People believe that the fish make the fish oil. No, the fish eat the algae, and the algae have the oils that are used on the fish. And people don't know that, but I'm telling you. Okay, now, when you're buying oils, first rule, must be a dark or non-transparent bottle. As soon as the light hits them, it will become rancid. It will be damaged. Maybe not all of them, but the outside are two when you buy fish oil they in a transparent little bottle or little capsule they look cool they want to show it to you but you do not want those because as soon as you get them out you leave them on the table you leave them outside or you go play or whatever they get oxidized they get damaged by light three when you buy oils make sure that you read the label because they say one gram most of them have one gram of marine oil not the fish oils, marine oil. Okay, they might have 200 milligrams of fish oil. When I created my own brand, and I'll show you a picture. Actually, let me bring that. I'll be back. I'll be back, Danny. He'll be back. This guy's such a character. This guy is such a character. You should hear him on the phone with me. You guys would crack up. It's like. Any of, you guys, any of you guys can have the, the honor of getting to know this guy and being friends with him. I tell you, it's uh, I'm back. Else. Okay, for for don't tell my don't tell them I said so that. they can see it. Okay, this is Ultra C. 
This is, I don't make this. This is just the, what the hell is the camera? This is the brand. <laughs> this is the brand Ultra C right there. Okay. Okay. Uh, this is the, it's called Uber Z. Uh, let me put that here, Uber C. And the phone number for that is, uh, crap, I got to look it up. You need websites. All you got is phone numbers. This is in uh, 1980, Poly just man. Go, just go to Poliquin Group. He was from Canada, Poliquin. Okay. Poliquin, poliquinstore.com, okay? And guys, that's P O L I Q U I N dot com. Store. Store dot com. Okay, this one is Alpha Omega. These are the best fish oils. I'm going to explain. First of all, non transparent bottle. Two, dark. You cannot see anything. Okay, and three, he has a lot of oils. And let me explain why I have a lot of oils. And I was going to talk about yesterday, I saw a patient with. Lupus, okay? I don't like to see normal stuff. I don't like to see guys with muscles. They don't get me excited. I like to see girls, though, but, you know, I don't like to see guys with muscles. I like to see complicated cases in my office. And this patient has SLE. And this lady actually also competes. She won after the last two shows. She's competing at the Mike Francois show. And she buys my oils. But she said she ran out of them. Okay, this lady came to see me waiting like she was skinny, skinny fat. She was having joint pains, couldn't work out. Now she's in great shape. And actually, I can bring her to the show. And she told me, Eric, you know what? I was getting lazy. I bought fish oils and my arthritis started coming back. So yesterday, she promised me that, one, I wasn't going to die. Two, if I die, she can continue buying the oils. And I said, hopefully... You know, I'm not going to die soon, but I have somebody that can sell you the oils. But my oils are different because I have omega-3, omega-6, omega-7, omega-9, I have CLA, I have alpha linolenic acid. I have all those oils mixed because when you eat food, they're all mixed. Now, I also have monounsaturated fats in there because the most abundant fat in red meat, in chicken, beef, doesn't matter what it is. It's not saturated fat. It is monounsaturated fat. And I'm going to ask Danny for permission because I would like to give a lecture later on fats for the viewers. Absolutely. It will be like two hours long, but it'd be worth it. You guys Absolutely. will learn everything you need to know about fats, how to eat, when to eat, and what to do with this. Now, the reason I have the different fats on this one is because, again, I want it to be like a food. I don't want it to be just a supplement. And it works amazing. My children takes it. Everybody in my family takes it. I don't sell it in my office. This is funny. I don't sell it in my office unless I have a patient that have a condition, a disease, because it works amazing. And those people, once they go off of it, they say, no, I don't want to buy anything else. Back pain, it gets better. I'm not selling. I'm just telling you. And, and the phone number to order this is 614-596-7994. You can only now, order by phone? You can order by phone, yes. And you can go to a website. I forgot the website. Um, oh, crap. Infinityfitness.com is the website. Now, another supplement that I absolutely is a must-have is enzymes. And, the, and let me explain to this. Let me explain to you why. Diseases come through the gut, through the intestines. As we get older, our acid in our stomachs gets less. So we get a reflux, we, we digest proteins less, which create more allergies. And when our body has more allergies, cancer can grow because our body has to deal with allergies. So now here we are, we're not making the enzyme that we used to make. First of all, because we eat crap. We eat five to six times, which is bullshit. Oh my God, I'm going to catch a lot of this. Do not eat five to six times. There's something called... MMC, Motor Migratory Complex. And that will be another whole damn lecture here. But you do not want to do that. And enzymes help you digest the food. Enzymes help you clean your intestine. Enzymes help you against diseases. The number one use anti-inflammatory in the world is actually enzymes. It's not, it's not anti-inflammatory, it's, it's enzymes. Specifically, a brand called Web Enzyme. Okay. Now, diclofenac is the number one cell anti-inflammatory in the world. They make a massive difference. Now, you want to use it for anti-inflammatory purposes? Take an empty stomach. 
you want to use it for anti-cancer properties, take an empty stomach. To help you digest the food, you take it with your food. Now, one of the most important ingredients, specifically on, on this one, is, is bile. You need bile, okay? Why? Because bile also helps you with thyroid. I know it's a long history, but it's, it, it helps you. If you get your gold bladder removed, you're going to get depressed. You're going to get fat. You're going to have all these issues, okay? So what is my next one? The next one will be vitamins. Because I, I used to have little kids. I used to use something called chewable active essentials. They are the best. There's nobody makes better than this chewable. They do like sweet tarts. And the phone number for that one is 1-800-647-6100. Um, code is Batman. That way you can get it cheaper. I'm just giving you a code so you can get it cheaper. Um, it's called Active Essential Chewable. They're excellent. They have the active... They have the active uh, form of uh, vitamins. They are not as complete as core essentials. And core essentials was created by me. You can compare mine with anyone out there. It is at the Polycoin store. So what I did is I took vitamins, synthetic vitamins, or made on the lab, like methylcobalamin. All of the ones are on active. I took fruits and vegetables. I put in there. I took RNA, DNA. I put organs in it. I wanted to have a whole complete multivitamin that you didn't have to look outside there. And the reason I put food is because I don't know what's on food yet. There are all, all these kind of things that are in food that we do not understand. Now, for mine, you have to take six capsules because to, to make the levels that I wanted, it was that much. And you can go to poly, Polyquinsor too. There are other companies that make really good ones. Uh, one of them is a company called, that is from Canada, uh, it's called Claire. I think it's Claire, or I forgot the name right now. And it's excellent. Also, um, another good oil, by the way. And I always want to give you choices. Nordic Naturals makes a good one. Okay, uh, you can go nordicnaturals.com. It is not as complete um, as mine, but if you want to buy only fish oils, they have a good one. Another company that is excellent is in Chicago, and I forgot Carson's. It's excellent excellent quality and you can go to carsons.com and they will have great ones too i think that those are my core supplements if i work out if i have depression and then i use free phone aminos i do not use proteins i have made proteins for different companies including muscle farm beverly international for two other that have gone away and i used to believe a lot in protein shakes but nothing in nature has protein without fat. Let me repeat that. Nothing in nature has protein without fat, except parasites, virus, and bacteria. So I don't think you want to have proteins by itself. They should always come with fat. I saw what was happening to my patients, so I stopped making proteins. I only have one right now on the market. I have two on the market, and I only use them very rarely for people that can, don't have time to eat, and I tend to mix them with fats, okay? heavy whipping cream or peanut almond butter or something like that, cashew butter. Um, I use free phone aminos a lot. My brand is Muscle Synthesis. For amino acids, there's only two companies that I've seen that are awesome. Beverly International has one called Density. It is amazing, costly, amazing. Muscle Synthesis, I developed myself, and I have done research with mine, compare mine. They buy any amino acid that you want. Work out for four weeks. And the reason I want you to use the other one is because I want to see how you feel. Now, when you use mine, oh, it's placebo. No, you use the other one first. Mine is going to work for sure. You're going to say, oh, shit, this works better. Now, those are the only things that I tend to take uh, as core supplements. Uh, I use DHEA, by the way. I don't take any testosterone yet. And I will. I will. Well, not yet. I take DHEA. How much do I I'll take? I take 100 you. milligrams. Uh, for those, I analyzed DHEA on the past, and I analyzed 11 DHEA in the market. Two had DHEA, had, they had it, and they were off. One had more than the label said, and the one had less than the label said, so I'm very particular where I get them. Uh, DHEA really works, but you need to buy it from a good, good place. Do not buy it for a cheap place because they don't have it. So I hope that answers that question for that viewer. That does. And it kind of leads to the next question that we have is what are some of the side effects of over supplementation 
of things like DHEA and pregnenolone. Okay. Can you take them? Uh, do you have to take them every day? Uh, or can you take, is there any benefit if you took them only three times a week as opposed to daily? But primarily, what would you say are the, 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 the well, side effects people have if they have too much of them? The expert on this is Dr. Gordon. I got to tell Dr. Gordon is an amazing person. And actually, Danny, thank you for getting me. We have been in contact now all the time. Uh, With Mark? Mark yes. Okay, we have good. been in touch now all the time. Uh, I have patients that take prenilolone. I, I rarely prescribe it. I use it specifically for anxiety or insomnia. I use it. I do use it for traumatic brain injuries because he has shown the science is there. Dr. Gordon, amazing. Mark Gordon, doc, I think md.com, I think the website. Um, if you take too much, you're going to feel sleepy. If you take too much, you're going to feel depressed. Okay? How do I know this? Because I have hundreds of women taking it by itself. And if they overdose, they do feel that way. I have seen weight gain, rarely, but they were taking a lot, okay? Now, what's a lot? 300 milligrams, 600 milligrams. I've seen mm. those doses you see in my office. What's too little? I see women respond to 25 milligrams. So, the, which, which, what's the minimum there? I do not know. Mm. Side effects of DHEA. If you're a female, if you're a female, you convert to testosterone. And if you take too much, it will show, yes, you will grow a little mustache. Not like me and Danny, but you have some hair right there. You might develop some acne. You might develop some muscle. Okay, but the benefits of DHEA outweigh the risk. Now, what dose is the best for females? I have people on 25 milligrams with super normal DHEA. Okay, super normal. But I have women that I take in 25, go 500, 600. And they say, hey, I'm getting an acne. Hey, I'm being aggressive. Hey, I'm arguing with my husband. So I say, okay. Maybe my wife's lower. taking it. What? So maybe my wife is taking it. I got to find out. Now. <laughs> well, you know, Danny doesn't do too much at home. Angie does. I know what Angie can do. She can cook. She can. She looks good. So, you know, I would get pissed at Danny doesn't do what hey, thanks, he's supposed Eric. to do. I love but you too. I will say this. Uh, I rarely see side effects of DHA only mostly in females, never in males. I had not seen... Of course, the dosages that I use in male, I take 100 milligrams myself. Uh, sublingual, I have seen it work amazingly for erectile dysfunction. Uh, that's 100 milligrams sublingual. Uh, if you're highly, highly stressed, I highly recommend it. I do use it for females that are highly stressed, but on the 10 milligrams, 20 milligram dose. Cool. Uh, I just two little ideas popped into my head before I ask you the next question. You watched the interview with uh, Scott Stevenson earlier? Yes, I watch. I'm not done yet. I'm almost done with it. Okay, so you saw the part I told him his dogs are wimpier than yours, right? Yes, I saw that at the beginning. And he's, yes. he's coming up to Ohio and he's bringing his dogs. So now it's going to be whose <laughs> who's, uh, dog is, big, is bigger than the other dog. dog. <laughs> whose dog can piss further than the other dog? Actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have Scott over for dinner. I got to call him an email and tell him to come over for dinner. Good. Um, and Mark Gordon, if you're doing a lot of back and forth, Mark Gordon, I, I emailed him just last week. And we're supposed to have him back on the channel, I think, sometime in February. We're Please tell him that I say hi, and I appreciate Mark has February. been so, Mark has been so good. You want to do something said, together? Yeah, I will come in with him, absolutely. Yeah, because I'm, I'm telling you now because I'm going to forget. So, guys, that would be cool. Mark and Eric together would be awesome. Okay. Um, what are some of the causes of flushing in the face, forehead and red face? I'm dealing with this, and I think it might be dairy for me. I guess it's not a TRT question, but... No, 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 no. That, pay, that, that viewer is correct. A, a reaction, a histamine reaction can induce heating of the ears. They get red and the back of your neck gets red. That is absolutely correct. And it can be due to dairy. It can be due to wheat. It can be due to eggs or it can be due to peanuts or peanut butter. Those are the most common ones. It can also be due to niacin or your multivitamin can do that. It can also be to a deficiency of DAO, the amino oxidase, in which you don't, you don't metabolize histamine correctly and you have no more side effects. So, yes, mm. I just gave you seven reasons for you to have this rash. Now, be aware that the combination of B vitamins can also do it, like B12, pantotenic acid, riboflavin, and niacin can also do it at low dosages. So, now, if you're having this every day, 
or almost every other day, find out what you're eating because it can be a histamine reaction, which is an indication that you might want a histamine diet. Okay, or just do an elimination diet. And yes. Yeah, perfect. Um, I like this question. What is your opinion on the studies regarding 600 milligrams of testosterone a week? They have studies, I think it was 10 weeks that they I, I know, it was weeks, 600. Yeah, and yeah. uh, they found no harm, no issues, no ever, whatever. People say, yeah, but what about long term? You know, 10 weeks is okay. not that long. What's your thoughts? I don't, I don't want the viewers to generalize. 100, 600 million for me might be too much, but 600 for another person might be too much. I have to look. I do not look at freaking dosages by itself. As a clinician, I need to look at the whole damn picture. If I give 600 milligrams to a guy that is already pissed and angry all the time, and I give him 600 milligrams, I will make it a bigger asshole, okay? If I give 600 milligrams to a guy that is already taking anabolic steroids, I might not do anything to him, got it? So be aware. Yes, I just told you showing that 600, and 600 is a dose that makes men act stupid. Now let me, let me, let me rephrase that. And I have it documented in my office. I asked the guys, you know, when you go up there, let me know how you act. And I asked the wife, okay, wives, for a guy that is taking 600, let him take his 600 within 24 hours, ask him to buy you a car that you wanted. Impulsivity goes up with the dosage. Let me, let me say this again. <laughs> Testosterone dosage influences impulsivity, meaning men are more stupid within 48 hours of testosterone. I, I don't care. I've seen it, okay? Now, it depends on the dose, of course. To answer this question from this viewer, 600 milligrams. Do I have anybody in my office taking 600? Yes, I do. I have people taking 600 with no more levels, by the way. Now, when do you check those levels? If you get 600 Friday and you check them Saturday, <laughs> your levels are not going to be normal. Don't, don't be stupid, okay? I know that the doctors tell you, take the dose this morning so I get your blood test. That is a peak, meaning I took my dose, I check it, that big, no, you don't want the peak. You want to see what's happening when you're not taking it. Make sure that your levels are normal, okay? Now, I'm going to answer this question with, I don't see too many side effects. Now, I want to tell that viewer, what happens if you're an alcoholic and you're taking 600? What happens if you're taking Tylenol? What happens if you're taking other drugs? So you have to be careful how you generalize. If you're telling me you're a 45-year-old, really healthy, no no comorbids, nothing, no high blood pressure, no snoring, no sleep apnea. I rarely see any issues. Okay. So that okay. answers that question. Yeah. Um, I'll just share my experience guys. Cause you saw some videos where I experimented with more. I went as high as 500 milligrams. I didn't say all that, all that long, but I did try it out to see what it was. Danny told me, Danny told me. He told me. And I told Eric. Yeah. Cause Eric, right. he's like, he's my doctor, but he's not my doctor, but he's like, we got, we got the, we got a fan going on. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but my wife used to say, I can't wait for you to stop because you're snoring so loud and you keep me up all night. But you're so much calmer and you're in such a better mood. So she's like, do I want him to be happy or do I want to be able to sleep? Yeah, she, she tells me that every, every time I've tried more, your mood is better and you're calmer. But you can give that 500 to somebody else and they're like, you know, they're being so the raging out or whatever say, else. I, I want to say something to the viewer. The 600, I said after two days, within two days, the impulsivity goes up, but the mood is almost always better. Mm. That is true. Mm. Now, if you're an asshole without testosterone, with testosterone, you're a bigger asshole. That's it. Okay. Imagine me. Go, go ahead. Okay. Um... I've got three questions left. You go, go, don't worry about it. Does he have an opinion or research on high DHT causing anxiety, hyperventilation and palpitations or other symptoms? Would he ever recommend switching from cream to injections just for that or any other reason? Okay, high DHT. Uh, viewer, I do not measure DHT anymore. Let me think one was the last. I got two or three people that are into the research and they want to get DHT levels. Um, 
So what about just guys that were maybe on injections, they move to cream and then they start saying, I'm getting anxiety, I have palpitations, whatever. But the, uh, the technically, problem, you would be led to believe that it's the DHT boost with the cream that might. No, be, I don't think. Is it that is it that testosterone or is it the DHT? You see what I'm saying? So I do not know. Now to 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 actually to do this study will be awesome. Give you testosterone, use a DHT blocker like Proscar or some, or something like that, and see what happens. Then you stop it and see what happens to you later. Um, can DHT cause? What was the question again? Can it cause? Um, um anxiety Any, hyperventilation palpitations yes. anxiety okay in my experience as a clinician any hormone any hormone can cause any side effect that you can even think about why because i have i have been smacked when i tell a patient no that won't happen and it happens to that patient so any hormone can increase yes can testosterone make your anxiety worse absolutely if you have a predisposed to anxiety let me say this if you are predisposed to anxiety testosterone can make it worse is it the dht i don't know because you're using testosterone and dht hey danny what's up so so he's good looking because the mother not because of danny you guys know hey, she's <laughs> making a bottle so she needs her two hands <laughs> uh, any hormone can cause anxiety any hormone can cause any side effect now I have people that have tried injections and they get very anxious, Danny, very anxious. Now you're gonna tell me, I, I'm a wussy for injections. I will not take an injection you pay me. So I get anxious if I'm gonna get a shot, right? No, I'm talking about anxiety later. Now I have seen people that were injection when they came to see me and they're in my office because they're having severe anxiety. They cannot take it. I change those people to cream and they have zero anxiety, zero. Now I have people that have creams applied to the testicles they get a rash they get anxious i change it to injection they have no reaction either i have people that have has a anxiety attack with testosterone sipionate but i give them testosterone and anthony and they don't have nothing same dose for nothing so you know what is it? it it depends on the person so in the case of this viewer if he's having anxiety because it's an injection I will use something else. Now, usually when I have a person that have anxiety to the testosterone injection or cream, I'm gonna use torches and you put those on your lip. And the reason I do that is because it peaks for two hours and then goes away. And then you take another one, it peaks for two hours and goes away. That person sometimes will not show the anxiety because they get the peaks and lows like a normal person and they don't show any anxiety. So on, on that case, on this viewer, you have oral form, you got cream form or gel, you got sublingual, you got pellets that I would never, never use, okay? And you got injections. Now on the injection, you got Scipion and Anthony. Change the one that you're using, change the route and the dose. I highly recommend throches for you if you're having anxiety. Gotcha. Okay. Um, guys, it also applies to some people are reported, you know, I take, I take enanthate and I, and I swell up, you know, I'm injecting sub Q and I get this crazy swelling. Sometimes it's just the oil. You can have an insensitivity yes. to the oil. Switch to a different oil. Just, you gotta just try something that works for you. Don't base what everybody says or well, me or Eric or whatever. You just gotta experiment and find something. Okay. This really works for me and this doesn't work for me. And to, I, Danny, that was awesome. You know, a doctor, but that was awesome. I have people that use, one of the oils uses cotton seed oil. I have people who have severe, severe anxiety in my office, severe. They give themselves a shot and I can see them getting anxious and we change the oil and absolutely is the oil. There you absolutely. go. Absolutely. There you go. Okay. Um, this is a question we've, we've kind of discussed at length, but and I mean, I can even answer it myself, but we can hear your, why is it that some people are still symptomatic even with normal levels? <laughs> because we don't know what normal levels are. That's the only answer. Okay, let's take two. Let's take twins. Let's take twins, right? And these twin brothers, they lived in the same house, right? And I have pictures of twins. There's a famous story done by a German twins. One was an aerobic runner, another one's a lifter. They look absolutely different. I got the pictures. And remind me to send them to you, Dan. I'll send them to you so you can post it. Okay. 
everybody is different. Everybody is different. Let me give you an example. You're a policeman, okay? And your testosterone levels are 100, 800. I am Dr. Serrano. My testosterone levels are zero, zero, zero. But they're going to be 800 today, right? And I don't work at night. I don't work at none at night anymore, although I have to because I get phone calls. But that policeman has a night shift. He's going to start getting depressed. He's going to lose erections, not because his testosterone levels are 100, but because he requires more to be able to be normal because I'm not stressed in the evening. Also, diet. Testosterone is the key. Okay, testosterone is the key. But if my receptors are not there or my vitamin A is low, my vitamin D is low, or my zinc levels are low, okay, my niacin is low. What does niacin have to do with anything? Well, niacin helps you make testosterone. Ooh, check it out. Check it out. Be aware that all those things are important. Also, what if you're what I call a rapid desorber, rapid cleaner, meaning I have a guy that metabolize the oil faster or metabolize his testosterone faster than the next guy. What if you drink, you know, they are not normal levels. They are just different patients. Be aware of that. Yeah, there's, um, you know, there's a lot of talk about, you know, even if you're looking at, let's say, um, testosterone or in sports, you know, guys on you know on TRT that are getting tagged by by these these people that are investigating their, their their blood serums and stuff. Is it, you know, is it the dose or is it the serum level? You know, because 250 milligram for me, you know, my free tea is 28. The 250 milligram for my buddy, his free tea will be 70. You yes. know, so the dose is kind of irrelevant. So everyone out there, when you're like, oh, the guy's taking 250 or he's taking 300, he's on steroid cycles. You know, what if you're getting only a, a, the same amount of, t- of testosterone you're getting at 100? Is it still a ser- steroid cycle? No, it's, it's what's, yeah. what is the, the outcome? You know, what is the cause? I, I, I mean, my job is not to judge you. My job is to help you. You're being stupid, I'm going to tell you. Yeah. If you're going to do something stupid, I'm going to tell you not to do it, okay, in my office. If you're going to do something wrong or bad, then I'll make sure I judge you. But, but my judge is to guide you. Uh, I will never, never do harm. That's my first rule, okay, and I will continue. I also follow the law, you know, I follow all the rules. I would never give testosterone to somebody that doesn't need it. But I mean, again, there's people that are so different and they're different, they're, they're different people. I have no, I have one, even twins in my office. I have, I have about eight twins and, and they're not, no, they're not, they don't live together. They're married to a different person. They have different jobs. They, they require different, different dosages. So it's pretty, pretty cool. Mm. And guys, when he says he'll tell you, don't be stupid or what you're doing is okay, he's telling the truth because you should see the text message thread me and Eric have and the number of experiments I propose. Like, hey, Eric, tell me what you think. I was thinking for my next experiment, you say, don't be stupid, Danny. Don't be stupid, <laughs> Danny. Copy the letters, yes. <laughs> don't, yes. Don't be stupid. I think he just copies paste now. Don't be stupid. <laughs> that is true. Um, Okay, I got a last one here. Please ask him about the cortisol, adrenal, and TRT relationship and to what degree TRT lowers cortisol. Does it shut down cortisol over time as it does with LH? Okay. Testosterone does lower LH. Testosterone does not lower cortisol per se. But testosterone has like cortisol. The true reason that testosterone builds muscle is because it blocks cortisol in the receptor, allows you to build more. I'm saying it now. It does not lower your cortisol levels. It helps you handle the, the stress level better, but it doesn't lower them. Okay, number one. Now, it affects the receptor of cortisol because the more you have, it might bind to that cortisol receptor. Uh, can you lower cortisol level with testosterone? No, you can't. Don't, don't say that. Uh, the levels will be the same. Now, you brought the cortisol receptor, I think, and, and that makes the cortisol work less. Now, I'm assuming that the patient is asking me about adrenal insufficiency. And in, in, medical doctors do not recognize adrenal insufficiency. It's either adrenal failure or Cushing disease, which they're wrong, of course, but I'm being, I'm being a physician now. Uh, do I use cortisol in my practice? Absolutely. Uh, for example, I had a person that, I'll give you a cool case. I have a 47-year-old white female, uh, ex-competitor. I used to do her diet. She won really well. Now she became a mom, she got fat, you know, became a fire, fireman. And she gets up between 1 and 3 a.m. every day. Of course, her, her son lives with her, 
her grandson lived with her, her husband had diabetes. So this is a woman that is waking up between one and three, the witch hour. The reason it's called the witch hours because the witches got up at that time because people were sleeping and did the witch stuff, right? Now, this person wakes up and she's so tired, even though she goes back to bed, but she said, about I want to talk. She cannot be normal, can be normal. So a doctor will tell you, oh, that person has high levels of cortisol between one and three, so you want to block it and blah, 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 blah. No, I do not want to do that. I thought I gave this person cortisol. And they're going to go, man, you're stupid. Well, you know, she called me today and she said she took the medication last night, Friday. She paged me to tell me it's the first morning that she woke up. She had no back pain, no joint pain, and she was full of energy. I was able to wake up. And this is what I did. There's a medication called Rajos, R-A-Y-O-S. And Rajos is just steroid, prednisone, cortisol. Got it? But this is a different mechanism that is seen by prednisone. You take it this at night. Yes, you take prednisone at night. No, it will keep you up. No, this is a specific medication that is released between 4 and 6 a.m. So you take it at night, and by the time you're getting up, your cortisol is released, which it should be released. So what I did, I walked out that 1 to 3 p.m. or 1 to 3 a.m. release. It was slowly getting released by the medication, and it peaked at 4 to 6 a.m. So what she did was, oh, I slept because I didn't make my own cortisol because it was already there a little bit, and it peaked up between 4 and 6. And she felt wonderful, which was pretty nice to have that phone call. Uh, so... I depends again on the case in the person. I use hydrocortisone, I use prednisone, I use dexamexasone. It depends what I want to do. Do I ever block cortisol? Uh, the question is, why are you stressed? Do you want me to lower your cortisol if you're being beaten at home? Do you want me to lower your cortisol if you're staying up at night? Do you, you want me to lower your cortisol if you're like doing? I see a lot of naturopathic doctors lowering cortisol, and that is bullshit because your cortisol levels are high for a reason. Why are your cortisol levels high? Is it because you're stressed? Is it because you have a toxic, tolerable, or a good stress? Remember those three things that I just taught you? Look back at it. Look back at your pie and say, I'm broke. I have no money. You know, that's stress. Do you want to work cortisol level for that person? No, because they require to respond to the daily living. Now, do I have a patient that can make too much cortisol? Absolutely. In that person, I might lower them, but I will not block them. Cool. Okay. Good. Well, I, mean, I hope that the viewers we enjoy through, today. Enjoy we went the a lot of a lot of questions, man. Yes, so a lot of questions. Let me know how the viewers like it, and if they invite me back, I'll be back. You're already invited. I mean, this. Is, you know, did yeah, you see, do you ever really go and watch your the YouTube videos and we look have at all the comments thin, underneath? Thin, you know, no. Let the viewers decide. They want me back. I come back. <laughs> You're coming back, Eric. Uh, thanks again for the time. Awesome. Okay. And uh, guys, enjoy the rest of your weekend. If you haven't already subscribed, just click the damn button right below. Yeah. And the next time on the video, when I say get a subscribe, you can just say, He's, I've already done it. I don't have to listen to this guy anymore. I've already subscribed. Just get a it done. A stupid okay? question, Danny. Stupid question. Yeah. Okay. So how do I subscribe? Do I go into the videos and I... Wait a sec. Wait a sec. Are you telling me that I had you on every freaking time and you haven't subscribed to the channel yet? I don't even know how to. Hold on. Jeez, oh, Eric, I'm ready for you. Hold on. I mean, okay, I am in YouTube right now with you and Scott, right? Where, okay. where is that button? I don't see no button to, to subscribe. Where is it? <laughs> You're on your phone. Right. Guys, we're going to do this. We're going to keep the recording going just in right. case for those of you who have to figure the case. Okay, so you're watching I have Scott. It right yeah? now. I got it okay. right there. Where is the button? Okay, so click. You see where it says uh, you see where it says TRT and hormone optimization, and there's the and there's the icon. Yes, red and black. Look to the right of that. There's like a bell, and it says if you're subscribed or not. It's, click. It was, okay, do you have there's a, no bell. Do you have there's, a, no bell it, there's no bell for me. <laughs> we'll do this offline. We won't keep everyone. Guys, thank you again. We're gonna we'll cut the video. Thanks so much. Oh, yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Uh, Wait a second, subscribe. Buddy. I am subscribed. I am subscribed. It says subscribe. You are subscribed. Okay. Yes. So then you got you to click on the little bell next to it so that you get notified when there's a new video that gets uploaded. Because how are you going to know there's a new video that got uploaded? I know because notified? you tell, you always tell me. So I always watch them. But I don't get, no, I don't get notified when there's a new video, though. I don't. That's it. So you got to click that bell. 
and it'll, you'll, it means you're going to be notified. Whenever there's a video that gets uploaded, you're going to get an email. New video has been uploaded. You're going to see what the video is. Okay. And then you can go watch it. And then you can click on like. Let me ask you, Eric, do you like the videos that you're in? Do you go and you click on like? Oh, hell no. I never watch my own video. <laughs> hell no. <laughs> hell no. I never. Okay. never Guys, never. like the damn videos too. Like them. Watch them. Subscribe. Notify. Like. Have a good weekend, guys. <laughs> bye-bye, boy. Bye-bye. <laughs>